Yo, what is up everybody? BZ Beats back here again. Thank you guys all for tuning to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about DJ edits, specifically DJ intro and outro. I'm going to do a basic uh, DJ edit from start to finish and I'm going to show you guys my process of how I walk through it and all that. And um, yeah, it's going to get you on your path to making those DJ edits. So let's jump right in. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and um, pull up the instrumental and the dirty version, right? I'm going to go ahead and warp the dirty version, the one with the vocals, and then I'll do the same thing to the instrumental, right? So I'm going to throw it in there at the right tempo. Then I'm going to find the one that warp, find the one. So I already kind of know this track is in time. So I'm kind of lucky here. Um, this is a, a track that I did with the homie Doughboy. And um, I'm going to make an intro for this. So boom. So what I would do is I would right click on this. Set one here. Make sure you're in complex mode. Complex Pro usually is the best. Um, I try to make everything complex pro. It just kind of warps better for some reason. So I'm going to right click again. I'm going to hit warp from here straight. All right. That's going to warp your um, your track into the tempo of whatever you have in there, right? So the tempo is 96, right? So then I'm going to go through the track, and I'm going to pick, like, peak points, like, halfway. And check if it's on. Uh, maybe if it's, it's off a little bit, I'm going to slide it over. Boom, 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 because it's not, a, it's not always going to be on. That's just what it is. Um, boom, boom, boom. There seems good. I'm going to go, like, like, halfway through the track and then to the end. Like that, something like that. And I kind of want to do the same on the instrumental, like the same parts. So it'll be like the end right here. Something, and I'm just picking random spots. Haven't even really listened to it yet, you know? So, it should be in time. But you put that on, I put that on the gang. Put that on the gang. Oh, I see that warps. Cool. So now I got that one warped. I know for sure that that's in timing, right? Boom, boom, boom. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one, the instrumental. I'm going to warp this one. Again, put in Complex Pro. Hit that on the one. Set the one here. And then I'm going to warp from here straight. Just going to warp it from here straight. And then, like I said, go and warp it at the same time um, places you warp the instrumental. So 17, 37, and about 56. 17, 37, 56. Okay, so boom. Right there, 17, 37, <clears throat> 56. And uh, I mean, of course, any um, song that has a live drummer in it is 10 times harder. This is super simple because this is a song that I made and I know exactly what timing it is. But there's going to be a lot of instrumentals that are way tougher. Um, but this is kind of just the basic way to go about it. So I'm just showing you the steps. A lot more work um, with these edits, but this is just the basic. All right, so now that I got them both in time, the same thing, right? I'm going to find the best part that I think um, should be the intro, right? I'm going to pick the eight bars that I think are going to be the best. And um, usually it's going to be wherever the it comes in, you know. It's going to be right here. So the first eight bars, and I'm going to move over. The dirty one. And boom. Okay, so now I have an eight-bar intro, right? Let's turn that on. Now I have an eight-bar intro. <laughs> I'm going to scrub it for the best spot. And what I mean by scrubbing is I mean I'm going to search for the best loop. So I'm going to highlight it right here in the clip mode. Command L. And then I'm just going to just pick, try to pick the best part that I think. It might be that. It might be this part right here. I'm just going to try to figure out. this part. 
are here. Yeah, so I'm gonna pick this long part right here. This is the part with the least amount of instruments, so it's kinda gonna work out good. So then I'm gonna slide this guy right to when this drops in. See how it's already setting it up? Boom, super, super simple. By the straight, so I'm with the biz. And yeah, I'm fucking all these hoes, they ain't getting kids. And I'd have been to the pen, so I know the biz. Now that I have everything in time, I could easily go through and switch it up, make a different kind of edit, add an extended intro. So many ways you can go with it. This is just super basic. But um, so I'm gonna do the same thing to the end. And then, you know, you got to hit it with some fades and stuff like that, too, at the end. But like I said, this is just really basic. So I'll probably go ahead and, like, hit them with some super fades right here. Or I'll just cut this out, this whole thing out, depending on what sounds good. <laughs> and you might have to hit them with some fades right there. But since this track is already in time and it's perfect, it's, it's going to work out good. I already kind of know it because I know the timing of it since we made it. Um, but, yeah, so look at it. Here we go. So now we got... We went from a different intro, a basic intro, to now we got a DJ intro where we have a beat, an intro, and an outro to mix in and out of so we could add, you know, acapella, do whatever we want with it. But here we go. So I'm with the biz And yeah, I'm fucking all these hoes They ain't getting kids And I So I see how there's a little bit of flange right here Would you put that on? Put that on the guy So I might have to throw a little EQ on there And, you know, hit some automation And turn it off and on right there So it doesn't flange Because it's going to be It's stacking on top of each other The same thing, you know Would you put that on? Put that on the guy So just to get it out right there For right there Would you put that on? Put that on the guy Yeah, I'm raised by the straight So I'm with the and then turn it off right there. Or another way would be take the eyes out of that, you know? Opposite. Would you put See, it won't work like that. So we need to go. Would you put that on? Put that on the guy. Yeah, I'm raised by the straight. Turn it off right here. So just for that little part, I'm going to have it on. Taking out the lows. Oh, sorry. Taking out the lows. Boom. Would you put that on? Put that on the guy. Yeah, I'm raised by the straight, so I'm with the beat. See, something like that. So that's just kind of giving it room to breathe. And then I can honestly actually even do it to that one because I kind of want them to sit right. So I could just do the same thing. Put that on the guy. Because now they're going to compliment each other. Would you put that on? Put that on the guy. Yeah, I'm raised by the straight. See what I'm saying now? So now that they're working with each other instead of against each other, that's all fine. Put that on. Put that on the guy. Yeah, I'm. See? Would you put that on? Put that on the guy. So now I'm gonna go like this. Delete that. Do the same thing here on this guy. But you can play with it, you know. There's just different ways to do it. Would you put that on? Put that on the guy. Yeah, I'm raised. And then I'm gonna turn it on again right here. Oops, turn it off. Boom. Would you put that on? Put that on the guy. Yeah. Turn it on and turn it off. Would you put that on? Put that on the guy. Yeah, I'm raised by the straight song. Put that on. Put 
that on the game. Put that on the game. Yeah, I'm raised by. Boom. Would you put that on? Put that on the game. Yeah, I'm raised by the straight, so I'm with the biz. And yeah. Boom. Now I got an intro, and here's that. Basic DJ intro. So then to end things off, last thing I do once I got the intro and outro, group these together, throw a little compressor on it, um, depending how loud it is. All sounds are different, but you want to control them, you know? Most of these songs are already going to be compressed, so I'm going to turn it down. So it's not peaking anymore. Maybe about six or something, five. And then I'm going to go to the master. And then I'm going to turn up the gain on the limiter a little bit just to bring it out. So I want it to knock, like whatever I go, you know. It's just gonna bring everything out and tie it all in together. Mm, between five or six usually. But you gotta watch the volume though, you know? And some, some songs are way louder than others, so you, you just kinda gotta play with it. But usually that's kind of the method I go about. Um, sometimes I'll actually throw an EQ too, maybe in front of it or after it, just to kinda get it right exactly how I want it. If something's lacking, like low end or mids or highs, you know? Just kind of bump it up a little bit. You can even make it super easy on yourself and just use the EQ3 and just boom, boost whatever you need to boost. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I make a basic DJ intro. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys got any questions or anything, let me know. I'm here to help. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and all that. I got a ton more videos that are going to be coming out. But like I said, this is just basic knowledge that everybody should know, especially my DJ friends and DJ people in the world. Um, having your own edit arsenal is definitely a key factor in the game of DJing. I got, you know, thousands of edits with my name on it, and that's what separates me from the other DJs. So with that in mind, just knowing these quick tips, you're going to be able to get started on doing your basic DJ edits and, um, you know, excelling to different ones that are at higher level as well, because this is only the basic. Um, we got to still talk about acapella outs and um, acapella ins and then transitions and all these things. But this is for other videos and stuff like that. But I just wanted to give you guys a basic look at this and how I go about it. Um, make sure you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe again. And thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.